Good morning, afternoon, and evening, guys. We are back with another random tier list, and today we are going to be tackling insects, one of everybody's favorite, or, well, for me, least favorite things in the world. I can't even, I can't even bother being uh, sarcastic there. These things are hideous, most of these. Um, I hate these. I'm glad most of these pictures are, like, scientific diagrams, not realistic images, because uh, some of these insects would horrify me in real life. And we're going to rank them anyway. Uh, we're going to rank them from S through F tier. And my criteria for this is S tier means they're super cool, super awesome. F tier means I want them to die. That is that is my criteria here. That's what we're going to stick with. Um, I don't know the names of most of these, so let me know in the comment section if you do. This is some type of uh, butterfly moth thing. Looks kind of cool with the uh, blue, blue-green uh, wings. Going to put it in B tier. This bug looks like a uh, like a, a leaf, right? This is a leaf bug, right? Being able to hide in leaves and trees and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Uh, probably be beneficial. This moth's pretty ugly. It, it's like furry. It's got weird yellow wings. Not a fan of that. This thing, also hideous. I feel like that's going to crawl inside of me somehow. Um, I just don't really want anything, anything to do with that. Butterfly's kind of cool. Kind of different colored wings here. Um... I, I think I heard when I was in elementary school that uh, butterflies have patterns like this to ward off predators, right? Because it makes you think that it's some type of giant monster face, right? And the predators, you know, don't attack it, don't mess with it. Not sure if that's the case, but this guy's doing the job. Next, we have another little tiny bug. Um, at first, I thought this was a spider, but we are doing an insect tier list. Uh, so there are no spiders on this list, um, though I do have texts coming through on my phone. All right, uh, this one, I don't even know what this is. going to put it in D tier, not a big fan of it. This one's hideous, too. That one's an F tier. All these are, like, the same thing. Next, we got a little roly-poly here. Now, depending on where you're from, you probably call this different things. I know some people call them pill bugs, roly-polies. Um, let me know what you guys call them. I definitely know this is one, depending on the area that you're from, you may call them something um, different. Roly-poly pill bug. Um, I'm trying to remember any of the other names. I don't know them. I always grew up calling them roly polies myself. I'm going to put this one up here in B tier just because I do have that connection to them. That I grew up and they weren't really scary because they were kind of all around. Same thing with ladybugs. Always saw those around as a kid. I even kept a few as a pet and, um, well, they died. But, you know, it's it was the thought that counts and I was willing to have them as a pet. So S tier. Dragonflies are pretty cool. Going to put them in A tier as well. The only thing I don't like about dragonflies is they are kind of large and they do kind of scare me. I hate crickets. Even a cricket that has a cool yellow pattern like this. This is another dragonfly wasp thing. Gonna put in B tier. Nice blue coloring, but I feel like I want to smack it with fly swatter. We have another grass... I think this is legitimately a grasshopper. I'm not sure really the difference between a grasshopper and a uh, cricket, so I'm not sure which one this is, but this is like 100% a grasshopper. Gonna put in C tier there. I do respect... Uh, those giant legs, but uh, definitely not going to want to go anywhere near that thing. Uh, this is hideous, as is this. I don't want these anywhere near me. Uh, this one, I think, is an ant. I'm going to put that one in B tier. Ants are pretty cool. You know, I want. I watched uh, Bugs Life and Ants, which for some reason are like the exact same movie made twice, one by Pixar and one by whoever Ants is made by. So, um, yeah, you know, ants are, ants are all right. This thing is nice and pink. I guess it can go in C tier. This bug can go there. This is a pretty cool butterfly, I gotta say. Pretty nice butterfly, pretty good coloring on that one. Got a little bug here. Don't know much about this one, can't really see much. This thing looks absolutely horrible. I don't know if this is a potato bug, and I don't really want to look into more of whether or not it is one, um, but I absolutely hate potato bugs. They look like demons. I, I saw one one time. I actually thought that I had... Uh, I had died, gone to hell, and this was my punishment, uh, was seeing the unholy thing in front of me. So if this is a potato bug, that's how I feel about it. If it's not a potato bug, it's still very ugly. Um, if you don't know what a potato bug is, um, dude, I wouldn't Google it, but you can. I don't like bees, D tier. Um, honestly, though, bees do leave you alone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bees do leave, leave you alone if you leave them alone, for the most part. Um, so a lot of people are like allergic to bees and like afraid of bees. I'm not personally allergic. You know what? This is a wasp, not a bee. Wasps are mean. I'm putting them down in D tier. We have we have B down here, so we'll get to B. We'll talk more about that when we get there. But I think bees are a little, maybe not misunderstood, but uh, a little too feared. Now, next one here, we have some beetles coming up. 
And I watched Beetleborgs as a kid, which was a really niche TV show. But the main characters were like Power Rangers that kind of looked like Beetles. So I think Hercules Beetles and, and the like are really cool. Now, would I want to ever touch one in real life? Absolutely not. I would want, not want to go anywhere near it. This thing. I mean, I would run. I don't care if it's, it's three inches long. I would run. I would no longer live where that thing is. Right? If I find one in my house, I am moving. Okay? Um, and I feel the same way about a lot of these bugs. But I, I just can't discount how cool it is. So if I'm seeing it on TV, if I'm seeing it from afar, that's pretty cool. Um, these bugs, not as much. Again, same thing with the Hercules beetle. I don't know which one of these is actually a Hercules beetle and which one is not. But they do look pretty cool, most of them. So they can go up there and nest here. I don't know what this is, but it's ugly. This butterfly is alright. This bug looks like a flower. That's super cool. I've actually never seen this one before. It's kind of like the leaf bug, but it looks more intricate. Next we have the praying mantis. Uh, praying mantises are pretty cool. Wouldn't want to get into a fight with one, um, but definitely a cool um, a bug. You have the, the whole aspect of them like praying, right? They're not really praying, but with their big scythe claws and stuff. Really iconic bug. Um, I need an extra tier here. We need to add a row below. Um, yeah, down here. We're going to put the centipede or millipede down here in um, hell no tier. Uh, no. No. Just no. Just, just no. Potato bug can go there too. A uh, classic butterfly here, monarch butterfly, A tier or S tier, pretty cool looking. Another dragonfly here. This one is not as pretty as this one though. It's kind of ugly. They look very similar, but I like the black one better. So I'm gonna put this in B tier. This bug is absolutely hideous. C tier. This bug has cool blue wings, so I will put it in A tier. It is a nice looking butterfly, one of the better ones. This is absolutely hideous. I think this is a fly, like close up. And flies do absolutely nothing for me or for the environment. Well, I don't know if they do anything for the environment, but um, they do absolutely nothing for me. So I'm going to assume this is a fly and I'm going to put it in F minus tier because flies are very, very annoying and they don't seem to add anything to my life. Mosquitoes also don't do so. However, they're at least cool because they're vampires. This is another cool looking butterfly. I'm going to put that in A tier. This is a wasp. Or not a wasp, uh, a moth. D tier. This is a stick bug. That's kind of cool that it can camouflage itself as a stick. But, um, I don't know. The leaf bug and the petal bug have it beat. I don't know if this is actually called a petal bug, but yeah. You know what, we'll put, we'll put stick bug into B tier. I don't know what this is or why it's on the ground, but it's pretty ugly F tier. This is another leaf bug, but this one looks like it could beat me up. So I'm going to put it down in C tier. We have another moth here. Moth, butterfly thing. C tier. Okay, this looks like a spider. It has eight legs. So I don't know what's up with that um, because I specifically, this was an insect tier list. And this is the only spider. No, there's a tarantula on the list too. Alright, so I guess we are doing, I guess we are doing spiders too. Um... I'm going to need. Sorry, guys. I'm going to need. We're going to need hell no plus to deal with some of these. We'll put the tarantula and the millipede and the pill bug down there. So we have hell no and hell no plus. And those are down here underneath F tier. Um, because all of these bugs can die. D tier. Eh, maybe C tier. Nice green coloring. This looks horrible. I think this is a tick, or a mite, or a bed bug, or something. This also looks horrible. This looks horrifying. This, eh, yeah. The butterfly is kind of cool. I hate crickets. I really hate crickets and grasshoppers. I gotta show respect to some of the big ones because of the big colorings and stuff. But to be fair, if I saw them in real life, I would want to, them dead. This one's ugly. This thing, I, I'm feeling the similar kind of way that I did about the Hercules beetles up here. Um, but not as strongly. So I'm going to put it down here in C tier. And oh my god, this... Maybe this is a Hercules beetle. Because I think Hercules beetles can fly. And this beetle can fly. So the fact that they can fly, it definitely makes it cooler, right? So you would think it would go up here. 
But the fact that it can fly means that it can probably catch me, so I'm actually putting it down here in C2. Because I don't want that to happen. Along with its friends here, I'm going to put all these into C tier. You know, these ones, they look like they, they could grab, they could pinch. That's pretty cool. These ones, they look like they could assault me. Um, not as cool, you know. I know they're very similar, but that's my kind of difference there. Um, this butterfly looks slightly phallic. Not sure about that. Uh, D tier. This dragonfly looking thing can go ahead and go in B tier. I don't know what this is, but I don't want to. Um, this is kind of an ugly butterfly B tier for that. Um, I think this is a stink bug. I don't know that for certain. But um, I'm going to put it in C tier. This bug, kind of a basic run-of-the-mill bug C tier. Some of these other bugs. They're just bugs, right? Actually, some, somewhere, and maybe I should have pointed this out at the beginning of the video. Somewhere I heard that bright colors in the animal kingdom mean you're, you are poisonous. Or at least that's how, like, frogs work. So, I don't know if uh, bugs work that way, but oh my god, this thing looks like it's just venomous as hell then. Here is a bee. Bees are cool. Okay, maybe not S tier cool. Bees are cool. A tier. Um, lots of people hate bees and want to kill them. And we actually like need bees to survive because they pollinate our, our um, flowers and stuff. Right, so bees are a little misunderstood, I think. A tier. And, I don't know, this is just a regular bee. Uh, bug. We'll go ahead and put that in C tier. So that is the list, guys. If you appreciate this tier list, make sure you leave a like down below. Comment anything you want to say if you know the names of some of these bugs or if you wanted to tell me what you call a roly-poly in your uh, community. Definitely let me know. If you like tier lists like this, random about absolutely anything from video games to insects to words that rhyme with orange, definitely leave a subscription on the channel because there'll be another one up tomorrow. With all that said, guys, this has been the guy who makes random tier lists, signing off.